Hello everybody, welcome back to my little video blog, my uh, video channel. Um, again, just as everybody knows, on the side here there's a word, uh, uh, you know, a Twitter feed on the search for the word drones. I don't take any responsibility for what happens there, but um, it just shows how active the word drones nowadays is on Twitter uh, and, and how many people are searching for it. It's been a while since I posted something. You'll see the format is a little bit different. And the reason for that is, uh, um, you know, the software that I used went through an update and iOS went through an update and now suddenly my old software doesn't work. And so I'm using this software to create uh, this cast. It's, you know, it's great, uh, but we'll, we'll see how it goes in the future. Um, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll update it so it works on my Mac properly again. Um, then um, the, we had the Atlanta Maker Fair, and I spent a lot of time on that, and a lot of people put a lot of effort into that, getting that to be a success. And um, and ultimately, it did rain a bit. It wasn't as as spectacular as we would have hoped, but um, you know, it was still a great event. We ended up flying, and uh, the pilots ended up flying in a garage or a uh, um, in a parking garage. And there's a lot of videos out on the Atlanta FPV page and the Multi-GP page and uh, um, FPV Live and FPV Racer Magazine. There was a lot of people there that covered the event, so there's a lot of stuff out there. I did two workshops there, uh, which I recorded, and um, they look something uh, similar to, let's see I, if I can get that out there. There's um, the first workshop, and that is... Uh, the workshop that talks about, um, uh, you know, the absolute ready-to-fly basics of a quadcopter and, you know, this is the propellers and, and that kind of stuff. It, it really is a very, very basic version of, of uh, um, you know, where do you start with quadcopters. Then uh, also I did a video on um, a DIY, uh, um, which went a little bit further. Um, so there's two videos out there. Um, if you want to check that out, and um, they really talk about, you know, um, uh, um, you know, we've I've done them before. I did them at the Gwinnett Center. This was a little bit updated, and we had support from people like Mad Lab, uh, who who uh, uh, sponsored it, and it it was great. Apart from that, I built two uh, um, multi rotors, and you should have seen the reviews on these. There is what's known as the FMQ Hoku, which is a little X-type frame uh, with 2204 motors on, Hobby King motors on there. It's not it's not great motors or great hardware on there, but the frame is really, really nice and really solid with really thick arms. So uh, there's a couple of videos and stuff out on that. And then it's uh, a, a little cousin, which is uh, this guy, which is a FMQ Oh, new, which is a, a hex, a little hexacopter, and this guy is just—it's just awesome. I mean, I—I I, um, I have six of these uh, 3,100 kV motors on there with small little four-inch props, uh, but this thing just flies phenomenal. It's so stable. It's got a CC3D with nays, uh, 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 with a clean flight um, 10 on there. Um, it is really, really nice. And one thing that I did put on here is this thing, um, and that's a thing called a Pebble V, which is uh, a, a device you can use to track the the, um, the copter with. So, uh, you know, I just stick it on there with some Velcro. And um, then I have a phone app that I can use to um, actually track it down. You know, it's actually meant for putting on stuff like your keys. So, uh, you know, if you want to find your keys, but it, it works because it's like a hundred meter and you, and you press a button on there and this thing starts beeping. So it's like a little beeper thing. So I now just take it and the quad I'm flying, I stick it on there. And if I crash, I can always find my quad again, uh, which is pretty neat. And that's about 20 bucks. And, uh, um, you know, um, you know, on top of most of my quads have beepers and stuff, but this one, you can actually move around, which I'll do a little review on that as well in the coming weeks or so. So, you know, that's basically what's been happening. It's been, like I say, very busy. Uh, we'll get back on track here again and, and get moving and, and see if we can 
get my recording software to work and uh, uh, you know and I'm um, of course very busy at work as usual so um, you know um, but let's take it from there and, and thank you for watching and um, we'll speak soon again thank you